Yep. Well, we made it here to Saskatoon. It's our first morning. All the boys have showed up. We're going to go sit until about 10.30 a.m., then go shoot some guns and get a bit of a lay of the land. It doesn't feel that cold. No, it's only about minus seven uh, degrees uh, Celsius. Celsius today. Yeah. I can I can deal with 15 degrees, this. probably yeah. 15, 16 degrees. Yeah. And the plan is after today we're going to be doing all day sit. So got to get ourselves in order today. So I'm here having breakfast, and all of a sudden this fella comes up and says, "Hey, how's it going?" And I'm like, "Wait a second! I interviewed you in Nashville two years ago. No, three years ago at Craig Campbell's Celebrity Cornhole Challenge." Brett Kissel. Good morning, folks. What are you doing here? Here to get a monster whitetail or mule deer. It's the best place to get it. We're here filming our own show. Yes, I heard on yeah. Sportsman. Sportsman mm -hmm. And where Channel. can people check that out? The show's backwards backstage, and it's on uh, Sportsman Canada and hopefully Sportsman USA next year. Awesome. Good luck, boys. Yeah, thank you. You too. You too. It's about 8 a.m. and we've had a bunch of muley, a bunch of whitetail doe. We've seen a small whitetail buck and we've just seen a young muley buck too. So I'd say that's a pretty good first sit. It is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Snow is on the ground. It's a beautiful summer is outside. And I actually, I wanted to hunt in Saskatchewan since I got in Darning. It was one of my bucket list hunts to do. I didn't think it would happen this early to be honest so I'm pretty stoked to be out here and especially with some good friends Mike Tossi and Zach and Ben so pretty awesome. Oh. So you got it on wrong so now. So now you can be a dog. <laughs> you got it on wrong. I like it like this. I feel like I look like a goober the other way around. I feel like I'm like oh like Elmer Fudd. I feel like that's what I look like. I look like. Yeah. I feel like I look like Elma Fard. What did you see this morning? I saw a good one. Yeah. Yeah, a real good one. Something I would have shot. We. The problem was, as we pulled up and we seen him in the field, we're on the right on the hard road, so couldn't do anything. It was a muley, right? Good mule deer. We seen two or three right there chasing the doe, and then all of a sudden, one decent one disappeared, and then a big one comes right up out of there and. We tried to get around and get to him and never saw him again, but he was a, a good four by four. And so what's your plan to uh, go? We're gonna go swing by there this afternoon and see if we can see him. Keep trying, they keep, keep trying. Out. There's There was at least five bucks on that one doe. Yeah. So, I mean, they're hard and heavy after that one doe right now. They should be around that same spot. Yeah. So hopefully we're gonna head right back out there. I hope you get him. him. Uh, It'll be amazing. So fingers crossed. Yep. I think we're all ready now to go and sit for the afternoon. Everybody's dialed in. Both these boys saw big shooters this morning, so I'm really excited to hopefully see. I would love to see Mike get a huge muley. It would be amazing. Got myself a nice little Timmy Hortons. Thanks, Timmy. This is my first time trying one of your specialty brews. I'll give it a rating. Solid 7.5 out of 10. Pretty good. Extra points for the reindeer. I've just heard that Ruben might have got a deer and also he had some crazy encounter with a moose today. So I'm heading out to say hi. <laughs> Ruben, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> oh, he, he walked out. All the other bucks got up with their eyes all big. They shied away, and then all of a sudden, he was dead. It was great. <laughs> all the windows are shut, so they cannot see us. We're in a brand new spot in a brand new blind, where there are three potential whitetail shooters. We saw 
something big on the side of the road as well coming in. So I think that this area has some nice box around. We're going to keep the window shut just until it's time to open up. It's kind of like a little ice cream shop. When we're ready, we'll open for business. Did I shoot over for him? The video looks like you shot over him. Like, grazed his back. Oh. <laughs> well, I played the footage back over and over again, and it looks like we had a bad, bad case of the buck fever. She got real shook. So she hit the very top of his back, and I mean like that close to the top of his back. So. Uh, me and Lance agree that we don't think he's dead. I think he's probably fine and we'll be in there tonight, but we have to make sure. So the plan is we're gonna go in in the morning, we're gonna check all the cameras in the area, see if he's back on camera. If he's back on camera, we're just gonna keep hunting him. And uh, if not, we'll have to figure that out. But we might have a sad Australian. So we'll look in the morning and hope for the best. Hopefully he's on there and we can get back after him. All right. So I just checked the camera. We got good news and bad news. What you want to hear first? The bad news. Bad news is you gotta sit here all day. Okay. Good news is he's still alive. He was here all night. Well, um, and what chasing time, those. What time this morning? Six thirty-nine. Oh, thank you, God. So we'll sit here. We'll try it out a couple more days. There's at least three shooter bucks here, so we'll stick with that being fine. Oh my gosh. I just sent the pictures to the group, so. Thank you. Right on. I might just get another chance at him, and if I do, I'm gonna be the luckiest girl in the world. That's gonna be my biggest deer ever. Yeah. 